There's a number of reasons why oil companies are so interested in petrochemicals. If we look back, petrochemicals were a have performed really strongly financially since 2014, 2015. The drop in the oil price meant companies that had petrochemicals were very, very profitable. So it's an attractive sector to be in. So that's the first thing, it's attractiveness. Second thing really comes around the energy transition. The outlook we have is that petrochemicals growth globally will be very strong and be much stronger than transport fuels. So if you have a refinery or you're looking at crude oil production, petrochemicals is a growing part of that demand barrel and so companies want to have a position in that and capture some of that margin. Lots of, lots of companies now are aware of the energy transition. If you take the extreme case of the energy transition, that means transport fuels will decline. So if you have the, the concept of declining demand for road fuels, then petrochemicals is a potential outlet for feedstocks. And what are challenges for this process? This petrochemicals, there are many different types. It, it's a sector that covers many different areas. Some things are commodities, or more like commodities, some things are very specialised. If we just focus on the commodities, the issue is, is really one of scale. So whilst the industry needs somewhere like three to four steam crackers a year to be built, to be built the naphtha demand, petrochemical sector, is much, much smaller than, gas, than the gasoline sector. So if all of a sudden refiners choose to invest in petrochemicals, there's a risk they overbuild. If everybody does everything at the same time, there's a risk they actually overbuild and reduce margins in the petrochemical sector. So investments need to be considered, well-timed, need to be advantage locations, and understand how to market petrochemicals, because it's very different from selling and marketing transport fuels. Oh, there's always, there are huge regional differences. If we look at where the demand growth is for petrochemical use, it's very much, it's very much Asia. One of the challenges, Russia, Russia has considerable resources. It has considerable amounts of gas. It has the potential to supply low-cost ethane. The challenge Russia has is really the logistics of how it moves the, produ the finished petrochemicals to the end-use market in a way that's, that's low-cost. So the challenge is where do you locate these facilities if they are far away from the coast that actually some of the advantage on feedstock may not be able to be captured because of the challenges of logistics. That's been a feature of Russia for many years and it's something that needs to be, needs to be overcome.